guys, it's Chef. And as a lot of you guys know, I'm a big fan of snorkel masks. Full face snorkel masks are really great. They have a lot of advantages. But there's one thing that's different about a snorkel mask that's a full face mask than a normal mask or even a set of goggles. So when it comes to being in the water with a full face mask on, you have this seal that goes all the way around your face. And having that seal all the way around your face is really important. When it comes to goggles, every once in a while you can have goggles have a slow leak where water starts entering in and it starts pooling up a tiny bit at the bottom of your goggles. That can happen with ordinary snorkel masks as well. The difference is with a full face snorkel mask, if you don't have a perfect seal, it can lead to bigger problems. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. I, I took the snorkel masks to the pool because I wanted to try them out and show you what happens if you lose the seal going around your chin or jawline or anything like that. Now I've had this happen on accident, not just on purpose like I show you here in the video, but sometimes when I've tried to equalize or uh, take the pressure down out of my ears or things like that, I've tried moving my jaw around to see if I can make sure or make the pressure go away. And when I do that, I always tend to find an area where I move my jaw just right so that there's no longer a seal there. So um, I want to show you guys on video what it's like if you do lose pressure on your mask or you lose the seal. Why am I talking about this? Because this can happen with you if you've got a beard in the way or things like that or if you have uh, long hair that gets down in the way of sealing your mask or things like that. Anything that gets in the way of losing pressure can, or losing that seal can cause interesting things to happen when you're under the water and there's that pressure. The difference in this is that on a normal snorkel mask or goggles, um, there's no vent up at the top of the mask where your air escapes when you breathe out. On these masks, you're breathing out the top tube, and so there has to be a way for air to exit the top of the mask to be able to get the air out. So with these masks, when you, when you have pressure and all of a sudden you let the water in a little bit, the water will not gradually leak in. The water is going to come in and it fills that mask with force. It comes in almost instantly. It's amazing how much pressure that water shoots in the mask to fill it up as soon as you break that seal. It's kind of incredible. So as you can see, with a full face snorkel mask, losing pressure or losing the seal on the mask does crazy things for your mask. It makes it so instantly your face is full of water. Uh, it makes it a problem for people who aren't expecting it, uh, for people who might have something or they might bump their mask or their mask gets jostled in the middle of swimming and then all of a sudden they have a face full of water and they don't expect it. Or in the case of kids who don't know how to put the mask on right and all of a sudden they jump in or they dive in or they go into the water really quickly and suddenly they have a face full of water. It can be really surprising and sometimes scary for little kids too. So are snorkel masks perfect? No. What happens when you lose seal? Well, all of a sudden you get a face full of water really, really quick. It's going to shoot up your nose, it's going to shoot up basically everywhere. It's not super comfortable. So, you know, I wish there was a better solution for this, but the truth is the way the masks are designed so that you can breathe in and out of the top, it's kind of the way it's going to go. If you had a mask that was totally sealed across the top of your forehead with no air vents to the top, you wouldn't see the same issue, just like you don't see it in a normal snorkel mask or a pair of goggles. So. It's understandable why it happens. It's unfortunate that it does, but the more you know about it, the more aware you are, the more you can expect it and make sure you keep that seal strong the whole time you're swimming. Um, the truth is, whenever I've had issues with the seal, it's only because I've moved my jaw or I've had the mask get hit really hard. When it comes to having a beard and things like that with facial hair, the, small, the holes are so small that we'd have little tiny drips of water and would slowly fill up. Uh, just because there wasn't a huge break in the seal where water could shoot through. So I haven't had it happen a ton in actual swimming in real life situations, but it has happened a time or two, and I want you to be aware of it as well. So if you're interested in getting into full face snorkel masks, I always include some links down in the, des in the description to a couple of the masks I have. Um, I'm trying masks all the time, hoping to try some new masks out here pretty soon. So if you are interested in trying out the masks, it helps me when you click on the links in the description. Anyway, this is Chef. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.